Well, welcome back to City Line. I'm sitting here with Mr. Luke Miner. He is the director of Washington 529, and he's going to chat with us about how we can save for future costs for our children and also maybe for ourselves in terms of education. But before we get into that, good morning, Luke. Good morning. Now, let's roll some beautiful footage, shall so, we? Sounds good to me. All right, Mr. Dan. Washington State has two options to help you save for higher education. The Guaranteed Education Tuition, or GET, program, and the Dream Ahead College Investment Plan. Both are 529 plans, featuring tax-free growth when used for qualified education expenses. GET is a prepaid 529 plan. You buy tuition units at today's prices. The state guarantees that 100 units will always be good for one year's worth of tuition and fees at the highest priced public university in Washington, no matter how much those costs change in the future. Because the value of GET units is tied to tuition, savings in a GET account are not subject to the ups and downs of the stock market. Dream Ahead is a 529 college investment plan. You decide how your money is invested. You control how aggressive or conservative you want to be with your savings. Or you can choose a year of enrollment plan that adjusts as your student grows up. Each program has different characteristics, advantages, and considerations. Both GET and Dream Ahead are great tools for helping you save for your student's future education. To choose which is the best for your situation, compare the plans at 529.wa.gov. Okay, so where was that when I was in high school five years ago? <laughs> oh my gosh, where was that in all of its entirety when my child was getting ready to launch herself into college? So there's some new things happening at uh, WA 529. Tell us what the big news is. Yeah, the big news is the Dream Ahead program, which was the second program talked yeah. about on that video. We are uh, kind of rejuvenating that program through lowering fees and offering new investment options. We are working with a new vendor who supports us in running that program and are able to make a lot of positive changes for families that's ultimately going to help their the money they put away go that much further towards their uh, child's uh, future education costs. So we're really excited about that. That change is rolling out in early February. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be uh, rolling out information about what to expect, what the new investment options will be, and importantly, it will be that much cheaper is in lowering fees, helping yes. people save for those future expenses. Every time you are on this show, um, the word co-parent runs through my mind because that is what Law 529 does. It gets in there and it helps parents understand how they can make um, college happen. So what tips do you have for young families to get started? Because, wow, uh, to hear that an investment would, would be safe, our world is changing on a dime right now. So I'm looking forward to some of those young family tips myself. Yeah, definitely. So, and I'm living this right now. I have a four and a half year old. We've talked to her about yes. hope a lot on this program and, uh, and we live this day to day, but because I work for a college savings program, I have that constant daily reminder that a lot of families don't have. And so the main thing is people think about these costs we have out there. The cost of college continues to rise. We see the headlines and people get intimidated by that. And so the best advice is for families not to get overwhelmed by it. Figure out what you can do today, free up a little room in your budget. It's with our programs, it only takes $25 to get started. And that's wow. all money that's going into your account to grow over time to pay for those future college costs. So it's starting small, chipping away at it over time, setting up monthly contributions, getting family members involved. And it's really about that intentionality of just, you know, taking a step back, taking a pause, taking the, the 15 minutes to go, um, to go set this up. And then as we know, habits, um, once we form them can be yes. easy to maintain but the hardest thing is uh, is getting into new habits. So. Absolutely. So what advice do you have for parents of high schoolers? Because sometimes um, I hear, oh my gosh, I think it's too late. I wish I would have known sooner. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's a common thing we get. And the, the main thing is not to get discouraged. 
there are a variety of tools out there to help families pay for college. Uh, it's not too late to open a 529 plan like Get or Dream Ahead if a student's in high school, but importantly, families should also take that time to be starting to look at scholarships to be considering whether or not uh, financial aid may be on the table. A lot of families are surprised that their student qualifies for financial aid. Our state has one of the most generous financial aid programs in the wow, country. So completing okay. those FAFSA, those financial aid forms is critically important. Looking at scholarship options and then doing what you can and then also talking about uh, personal finances with your student to help them be ready to enter, you know, leaving the household ready, equipped uh, right. to be financially smart about the, the decisions they're making. So I would imagine that when you talk with parents, oftentimes there is a, well, we've got money in our regular savings account. Mm -hmm. Isn't that enough? What's the answer? Well, the, uh, as the video talked about, one of the big advantages of a 529 plan is the tax-exempt growth. And so you get a big tax advantage doing it. You have a variety of options, as we talked about, whether you want to prepay future college tuition or whether you want investment options that you can tailor to how much risk you want to take in the stock market. So it, it helps compound the growth of your savings and have it be in a tax advantage way when you use it for those college expenses. Okay, so I have a minute 15 and I have five <laughs> hours worth of questions I want to ask you, but I also want to, I really want to ask this question. So what happens to that money? You meet with the parents, we get everybody on board, and suddenly we have a senior in high school who just says, I don't think this is for me. What options do we have? Yeah, and this is happening more and more, and it is a concern for families, but the good news about 529 plans is they're really versatile in how you can use them, not just for college or community college, but t the trades, uh, ah. apprenticeship programs. And then ultimately, if a student you know, gets a full ride scholarship, let's say, or doesn't use the money, you can pass it on to a sibling or even roll it now, this is relatively new, you can roll the money into a Roth IRA retirement account to jumpstart their retirement savings wow. for the future. So they continue to get more and more flexible because we realize and recognize that not every student has this kind of four-year college path and that's okay and the money will still be there to, uh, to be able to put to some use that's ultimately going to help a student or a sibling of theirs. Absolutely. Who do we need to thank in these last few seconds? I mean, I, I, I definitely want to thank my daughter for making my life yes. a lot more interesting these days and I want to thank all the families uh, that participate in our programs that are taking their financial future into their own hands and, and really planning ahead for that really important uh, setting their their student up for success. I love that. Yeah. One of these days I'm going to actually have your daughter on and I will faint because she will be 18 and I knew her before she was born. So um, you got to keep coming back so that time frame gets easier on me, okay? <laughs> Luke, thank you so much for everything you do for our families. Yeah, thank, thank you, Amanda. really appreciate you having us on. My pleasure. pleasure. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got Pet of the week when we come back don't go away because she is a cutie